I still remember, I think I was at Comic-Con in San Diego when news came out that DC was going to do a Joker movie that was not in the DCEU and wouldn't have Batman. And how many people screamed and hollered, it's never going to work. It's got to be in the DCEU and no one's going to want to watch a Joker movie without Batman and blah, blah, blah. And I had been saying for years, I was dying for either DC or Marvel to have the testicular fortitude to actually come up and say, you know what? Let's tell some stories that aren't connected to the cinematic universe. Let's, let's give some filmmakers the creative freedom to not be bound to the cinematic universe and just tell a great, a, a great compelling story. And I was thrilled when I heard they were going to do it. And we were all thrilled when we heard Joaquin Phoenix is going to play the role. The Joker comes out, makes a billion dollars, which I never would have guessed. Gets nominated for Best Picture at the Academy Awards. I believe only the second comic book movie in history to do so. Won the Academy Award for Joaquin Phoenix uh, for Best Lead Actor. And even though they had insisted that this Joker movie was a one-off, Making a billion dollars, winning Oscars, and being nominated for Best Picture tends to, to loosen up the, the chains a bit. And shortly afterwards, we heard they were going to do another one. Lady Gaga joined. Well, now we've got our first official poster, and we know when the first trailer is coming. This comes to us from the folks over at GameSpot who wrote this. The first poster for the highly anticipated Joker sequel, Joker, Folly Adieu, has arrived, and the debut trailer is coming very soon. The poster depicts Joaquin Phoenix's Joker and Lady Gaga's Harley Quinn dancing with a spotlight shining on them as Joker dips Harley while smoking a cigarette. The tagline for the film appears to be, the world is a stage. And all of its women, men and women merely players. They have their exits and their entrances. And each man in his time plays many parts. So I'm going to throw that in there. As for the trailer, That's scheduled good. to arrive on April 9th. And I got to say, I love the poster. I absolutely love it. Jonathan, you got a version over there that we see the whole thing. I love this poster, especially as a first poster, right? Just be Joker and Harley. And there's something so iconic about the dance, the dip. I even like the, the design on the titling, uh, the way that Folie Adu is put in with the, the Joker words, all that kind of stuff. The world. Oh, is yeah. A, I didn't even notice that. The world is a stage. I just dig that. And by the way, the first audio clip got leaked yesterday with, um, I can't remember what, it's Lady Gaga's Harley Quinn saying something, oh, you can do this, blah, blah. I can't remember the exact line. It ends with, you joker. And just ends with that. Absolutely adore this. It's capturing the spirit of what I hope this is. And by the way, the article also confirms that there's going to be 12 musical numbers. And the kind of music they're going to, all the needle drops they're using? Yeah. yeah. Like 12, I thought maybe they'd have one or two musical numbers. Turns out it's going to be more like 12 and all that kind of stuff. Now, something specific about this date. Like, take a look at this again. The World Stage trailer, April 9th. What's special about April 9th? April 9th is CinemaCon, mm -hmm. the day that Warner Brothers is doing their presentation at CinemaCon. So clearly they're going to drop this at CinemaCon and then probably later in the evening drop it online. But we're we're gonna get this thing at CinemaCon. You get to have it on a big screen though. Oh yeah, we're gonna get to have it on the big screen, probably with Joaquin Phoenix there in front of us, hanging out and, uh, and doing it. I'm very, very excited about this. Guys, we wanna take a moment and thank a sponsor of today's video, Mint Mobile. After years of fine print contracts and getting ripped off by overpriced wireless providers, if we've learned anything, is that there's always a catch. So when I heard that for a limited time, all Mint Mobile wireless plans are $15 a month when you purchase a three month plan, I thought, what's the catch? But after talking to them, it all made sense. There isn't one. Mint Mobile's secret sauce is that they sell wireless services online. They cut out the cost of retail stores and pass those sweet savings on to you. And guys, you know, ever since I switched over to Mint Mobile, I am spending less than one third on my wireless bills than I used to with one of the major carriers. So say goodbye to your overpriced wireless plans, jaw dropping monthly bills and unexpected overages. All plans come with high speed data and unlimited talk and text delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. Use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and bring your phone number along with your existing contacts. So guys, to get this new customer offer and your new three 
three-month unlimited wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month, go to mintmobile.com slash campia. That's mintmobile.com slash campia. Cut your wireless bill to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash campia. $45 upfront payment required, equivalent to $15 a month. New customers on first three-month plan only. Speed slower above 40 gigabytes on unlimited plan. Additional taxes, fees, and restrictions may apply. See Mint Mobile for details. Rob, I gotta tell you, even though it makes sense, a billion dollars, Academy Awards, all that kind of stuff, I get why they're doing another one. I've never really thought that they should do another one. I'm getting excited about this. I, I mean, just this image alone has gotten me kind of ramped about it. What do you think about what we've seen? All in. <laughs> I, I'm taking all my chips, John. I'm going all in on this. I've loved this idea from the beginning because here's the thing. How do you follow up that movie? You have to go, you have to t take a 180 degree turn. I know that everybody, I, I know especially in the fan community, I've heard bitching about musicals from the very beginning that they announced this. I'm like, are you kidding me? Musicals built cinema. I mean, that's one of the things that Hollywood did best when Hollywood was new, you know, as soon as sound came into the picture and all that. This is going to be, look, the madness of two. We'll call it what you want. You know, folly do. It's, it is, the idea of this, when I saw the, fact that above the title which is awesome the 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 phoenix gaga and then this image i'm like wh what is not to love i mean this is they know exactly what they've got todd phillips knows exactly what he's doing the first the first joker you know you what's so funny is the he he already he gets our trust he should get our trust the fact that he's going out on this crazy limb what encompasses joker more than following up a billion dollar grossing movie about a comic book character than making it a musical with Lady Gaga? That's insane. That's what the Joker would do. That's why we should all be excited. I mean, this movie, the very essence of it, is a great encapsulation of the character. I mean, what are you going to get? Another Joker plots against somebody to take down Batman and ruin Gotham? No, man, give us something that's going to be a banger that people are going to walk out of the theater gobsmacked by. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. Joaquin Phoenix has never done a sequel before, right? I don't think he's ever done a sequel. I don't. I don't think he's ever done unless like, his Ghost shows up in Gladiator too. Yeah, unless we get. I, mean, I guess we get like uh, what was his name there? Commodus. Commodus. Unless Commodus pops up, but I, I don't think he will. Joaquin Phoenix initially said no to doing another one, and then as the story goes, they showed him the, the billion story. dollars. Oh, and, he, and then they showed him a billion dollars. <laughs> Cha Ching. And they showed him the script, and he went, okay, yeah, I'll do that. I'll do that. Now, I, I'm seeing a lot of people in the live chat saying, well, they're doing this because Wonka worked. R well, there's a couple of big differences. Number one, this movie was in production long before Wonka Way came before. out. Okay? Just remember that. But here's the other big difference, and I'll tell you why this excites me. There's this other paragraph in the article, and it says this. In other news... Variety recently reported that Joker sequel will feature at least 15, I said 12, 15 reinterpretations of popular songs, one of which will be is That's Entertainment from the 1953 Judy Garland musical, which is perfect. Bruh. Perfect. The movie Bruh. could feature original music too. Okay, here's why that kind of excites me a bit. The at least 15 reinterpretations. You know what that sounds like to me? That sounds like Moulin Rouge. That's that's what I've been thinking the whole uh -huh. time. Moulin that Rouge. sounds like Moulin Rouge. Yeah. One of my top, not in my top 10, but in one of my top 20 all-time favorite movies. And if they could do it that way, because Moulin Rouge, any of you guys who have not seen Moulin Rouge, fucking watch Moulin Rouge. Do the Rouge. can, can, can. Oh, <laughs> do the can, can, can. And in the end, do they die? It's so good. Moulin Rouge is so good. But if you can get flavors of that first Joker, and flavors of something like Moulin Rouge with a walk with a madness of the Joaquin Phoenix and having Lady Gaga singing these things. Like if she can give us another um, Shallows like she did in uh, To Be a uh, Oh, Stars I Born. guarantee you we're going to get something like that. Oh, yeah. We'll probably get something like that. And John, you know what? The thing about for our viewers out there, That's Entertainment is a series of documentary celebration films that show the history of Hollywood musicals. Now... I know not a lot of our audience is big on musicals. You're a song and dance man. I mean, you brought me into the Greatest Showman cult, Woo! and um, Love that movie. Uh, I, I would say that everybody should go out there and 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 just find the That's Entertainment documentaries, give them a watch, and and understand why musicals can be what they can be. 
and then watch Moulin Rouge and think, what if the Joker and Lady Gaga were in this movie? I think that is a great uh, a great observation, John. And you just made me that much more excited about what this movie is going to be. Wow. And I have a feeling we're going to get 10 to 15 minutes of footage of Joker. I, at I guarantee you will. I think they're going to give us our first look at actual full scenes. And I, I just got goosebumps and thinking about that. The nice thing is this thing isn't 2025, 2026. It's October. It's coming. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called The John Campy Show Podcast, available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it.